Hello and welcome back to Coombe Valley Campers. Today we're going to be showing you how to clean the carpet lining on your camper. Hello everyone, my name's Lee and today we're going to be showing you how to clean grubby carpet lining in your camper. Now you may have just come off the end of the uh, camping season or you've just bought a second-hand vehicle, um, second-hand camper that has got some grubby carpet, or it's just it's about time now that you're actually concentrated on the carpet lining in your van and you need to know how to clean it. We'll go through the items you're gonna need to carry out the cleaning. And first of all, we've got the Advanced Interior Cleaner from Valet Pro. Now, you may have seen us work with Valet Pro before on how to revive your black bumpers and you can check out that video right here. We work very closely with them. Uh, in fact, you can click down on the link below to our website, the products page, and you can buy the items um, that you see in this video today. We're concentrating on the advanced interior cleaner as you see here. Now this has been formulated to be pH neutral, so it doesn't affect any of the glues that attach your carpet or any of your interior trim to your vehicle. Now we're gonna be concentrating on the camper vans here today and I was told by the guys at Valet Pro that most of the carpet cleaners you would buy from any store are a alkaline based cleaner. This has been specially devised to be pH neutral as I said, which won't affect the glues on your vehicle. This cleaner, as you see here, is in a one litre bottle and we've decanted it into a just a generic spray bottle and we've diluted that at one part water and nine parts cleaner because we're gonna be using it on quite heavy soiling on the carpeting that you'll see today. We're gonna be agitating the cleaner on the material using either this soft brush that's available from Valet Pro or this is it's a bit of a butchered scrubbing brush actually. Um, I believe I trimmed that down to get into a little space uh, in the past, but we found that it's actually really, really good. Nice stiff cleaner um, to do what we're doing today. To wipe off any um, excess cleaner or any dirt away from the material you're cleaning, we're gonna be using some microfiber towels. And when we're cleaning the carpet itself, we're gonna be sucking away um, the dirty water or the dirty cleaner with a wet vac. Now, you can get wet vacs just like this for about 40 pounds from the likes of Screwfix. Um, in fact, if you, again, click the link down below in our products page, we'll send you straight to a link that'll enable you to buy your own wet vacuum. And that's about it, really. Um, I'll bring in the piece of material we're gonna be cleaning and we'll get straight into it. This door card in particular is from a T4 with barn doors that open out sideways rather than the tailgate that opens up. And it's in a van that was converted quite a long time ago and you can tell that by the different style of lining carpet. Um, but the customer has come to us and asked us just to clean the entire inside of the van. On this piece in particular, you can almost see the line um, which is below the bed, which is where they keep more of their grubby gear, say your fold out chairs or your awning maybe. And up top is where you'd have the bedding, so it's a bit cleaner. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna tape off down the center, use these products to clean it, and then we can show a comparison right at the end. But if you stick to the end, I'll show you where else you can use the cleaner because it brings out some awesome results all over the van. Before we even start, you wanna just prepare this panel. Now we've removed it from the van obviously for your benefit so you can see what we're doing on the workbench a little easier. But what I've done before, before we even, start spraying anything on is just use the vacuum just to hoover up any dirt and crud from the panel and giving this cleaner the best chance possible. Although that hasn't made a visible difference, you just know there's lots of ingrained dirt in that carpet, like I say, giving it the best chance possible. Next stage is to make up your solution in a spray bottle and now this is one part water to nine parts cleaner. It's quite concentrated but that's because we're dealing with some heavy soiling as you can see by the dark patch on the carpet and it's pretty simple. We're going to start, we're going to divide um, this panel into quarters. We'll work at a quarter of a time so we're not soaking the area too much. We'll agitate the area um, with the brushes that we've got and then we're going to vacuum it up and that's pretty much it. I'm going to use the brush 
to get the cleaner really, really deep down into the carpet grain. And you can already see it foaming up and working away. Make sure to go right to the edges because you can still see the edges. So we've scrubbed that with two different brushes and we've let it dwell for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to use the wet vac and now we're going to see what results we get. Now hopefully it's coming out on camera. Now bearing in mind this part of the panel was the cleaner part, you can already see a noticeable difference in the panel where we've cleaned and where we haven't. So super tough so far. So I'm gonna uh, just carry on and uh, show you the results right at the end. So already, without even removing the tape, you can see a huge difference. And again, I hope the camera's picking it up. We've still got this last bit of stubborn black here. Um, so I'm just gonna get some brake cleaner and I've got my microfiber towel. I'm just gonna see if I could just hit that with a bit of brake cleaner, solvent-based cleaner, and just see if that will just lift the last of that dirt out. So I'll spray this on and then I'm just gonna sort of pad it, try and lift that dirt out rather than give this a scrub this time. So we've sprayed our solution on, we let it dwell for a couple of minutes, then we went straight in with a softer brush, really worked that into the grain of the material. Then we scrubbed using my butchered um, dish brush and vacu vacuumed with the wet vac the solution out of the carpet and then gave it a bit of a buff with the microfiber towel. For the stub and spot around about here, we used the brake cleaner and now I guess the last thing to do is to lift the tape and see the comparison between this side and this side. And there you have it. After removing the tape, you can actually very clearly see the line. And again, I hope this is picking up on camera. Um, if we just go from the dirtiest part here to here, you can actually see where that um, tape mark was. Really, really tough for that actually. And don't forget, we had a big dark spot around here somewhere. And with the uh, advanced interior cleaner and the brake clean, uh, the solvent based solution, that's really, really come up well. Let me know what you think down below. Um, before we go, I just want to show you a couple of other areas where you can use the cleaner um, on your vehicle. Now, you might find on some of your vehicles that in some of the edges of the carpet or even where there's the cavities in the metal, um, you might find dark patches on your carpeting. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the cleaner onto this area here and you can see how we remove that dirt too. And there we have it, just to prove that it works on the vehicles as well as just the removable door cards. And you can see where there was once a really, really dark line. There's still evidence of a bit of a line, but if you compare it to down here, which is what it looked like, I think it's come up really, really well. Really, really happy with it. And what we're gonna do is apply that same method all the way across the top of the vehicle, all the way down the sides. And yes, you're gonna to need to use a little bit of elbow grease, but the results are really well worth it. The last thing we're gonna show you today is using this cleaner on the door cards. Um, we've trialed it on the door cards, on the cab mat, all sorts of places, and it is really, really good for that. But just as a little bit of a show and tell, I'm gonna put it on the door now. So the solution's been sprayed on, we've agitated it with a soft brush. I'm gonna use the white uh, microfiber towel now, just so you can see what sort of dirt it picks up. But first impressions, it's cleaned up that door handle, an absolute treat. That'll be the doorbell. One second. I answered the door. It's all good, we're getting back to it. Um, so yeah, we're just giving it another quick spray and wiping this off now 
it's made quite an impact and you can see just the grime that's coming off on that cloth. Super, and with some of the darker marks here, I'm gonna be using again a bit of brake clean on that. But yeah, excellent product, super happy with it. So thank you very much for watching. We have covered all of the carpet cleaning that we wanted to in terms of the boards and cleaning them up, the inside of the van carpeting as well. And then we finished off with just having a quick go at the door using the Valet Pro Advanced Interior Cleaner. Um, really happy with that product. If you have a look down in the link below, you'll get through to our website and our products page where you can click on the link and buy the Valet Pro, Valet Pro products for yourself. Hope you like the video, please let us know down below. And whilst you're there, there's a link for you to subscribe to the channel. And if you click the bell down in the bottom right hand corner, then you will get notifications every time we release a new video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.